Uh, without further ado, uh, head coach Scott Cadell here. Um, James Cratch, first question. Scott, I have to imagine that you know Nick getting pinned at 125 just kind of knocked you guys completely out of sync for the rest of the night. Ah, uh, you know what? It's one match. I mean, that certainly doesn't help. That's for darn sure. But you know, I don't think you know that shouldn't affect what goes on at 33, 41, 49. So yeah, that's as far as the dual meet goes. That's that's not a good way to start. It's not being ready to go and. You know, obviously that kid's going to have a heck of a career. He's pretty good, but we should be in that match. Next question, Lex Knapp. Coach, Nick Van Brill looking much more comfortable at 149, uh, but what does he have to do to close out tight matches like that? He's got to finish those single legs. You know, it's he's been in there. He's been in there a couple years now with opportunities to win big matches on, on a single leg. He had two opportunities to finish the single leg, and – just from a technique standpoint, didn't didn't execute properly, and obviously ends up costing the match. He could have iced it in the third period there, and on a good single, and then again in overtime, and he just wasn't able to finish those single legs. So that's going forward. That's what he needs to do. That third period single leg, particularly, it looked like he was in there pretty good, and it looked like he rushed it on the finish. Yeah, you think that was the case? Absolutely, rushed it like he wanted to just get off the mat and just instead of really locking in on the technique of it. And that's an everyday thing with him because he's in there so much. Uh, so, yeah, he, he rushed that and tried to kind of go through him instead of sitting him on his butt. So it's something we, 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 we work on that technique a lot and just got to execute. Now, I give that kid credit too, right? He's pretty good. So, But uh, that's something I thought he should have closed that match out. Next question, Steve Falk. Scott, let me unmute myself. Am I unmuted? Can you hear me, Scott, yeah. or no? Yep, I got you, Steve. Okay. What do you want to say about Alvarez, first of all? Just not ready to go right now, you know, not ready to go right now. Banged up. A lot of teams are going through it. Michik is banged up. So would have been nice to have him, of course, but hey, that's, that's part of it. You'll probably see a lot of that throughout the course of the year. And second question, I mean, what do you see from Rivera tonight, especially on the mat? good on top I knew he would be and guys aren't going to really come after him and wrestle him so he's frustrated because he's not scoring but that'll probably be the norm for a while when the guys open up he'll be fine but man you, to win a to win a national title you got to be great in all three areas and he's really good on top we knew that and he uh it's a good kid too and he turned him a couple turns big ride out two periods worth great job on top we'll go Nick Costco Coach, what'd you make of uh, John Posnanski's performance here tonight? Obviously, it was his first, it was his, his uh, varsity debut. Uh, had a very nice uh, duck under for the takedown to go 5 1, ends up winning 7 1. What'd you make out of his uh, first performance here tonight? Uh, Pos is solid, man. Again, he's solid in all three positions. You like to kind of, you want to see him open up a little bit. That's a kid we actually recruited, though. Walker's a kid we recruited pretty hard. Uh, so he's a tough kid, too. So good for Paz. I know there was a lot of nerves there. There's expectation. He feels all that. So it's good to get one out of the way. He's just got to keep building. And I, I'm sure Donnie and him will say they want to see more offense, right? We want to see more offense. And I know they work on that quite a bit. But uh, good on bottom, tough on top. And, uh, yeah, scoring late was big. I, you know, for him, it's going to be the maturation process is going to be when it's 3-1, to one, you got to make it 5-1 to one and ice it. Don't sit and wait around and be comfortable winning 4-1 with riding time. Go out and get your own takedown. He actually ended up defending them pretty well, and, and it was a crazy scramble that he won, and he's athletic enough to do it. But from here on out, you got to go forward and get your own takedown. But good for Paz, first career win. We'll go uh, Mike Abramitis. Hey, Coach. Good evening. How are you? I'm good, man. Hey, as good as um, Janzer's match was, you're probably a bit disappointed at 125. What, what do you say to Aguilar after a match like that? Well, we have. I haven't said anything yet, so uh, I don't know. I, you know, I'll the talk to. A, even though he's a true freshman, he had a pretty good off season. No, um, Ragason's Ragason's one of the best kids coming out in the country. We know that. That's a absolutely. good match, no matter what. But you know, Nick's been in this environment he's I mean I know there's no fans but he's wrestled for us now you know he's had a whole season under his belt he's got to compete he's got to have a better out you know you got to have a better outing than that he knows that I mean it happens in wrestling I would have liked that match the longer that went we felt it would have benefited obviously that kid's cutting a lot of weight so we just never got it to that point there's not much to say let's move on and get ready for Penn State yep thank you we, we have time for two more quick questions we'll go to Steve Falk 
Scott, I know you lost a match, but how good did it feel to actually be out on the mat? And yeah, me again? yeah. You know, I, I don't. That doesn't get lost on me. I'm grateful, man. I'm grateful that our our doctors at, at Rutgers and our administration put us in a really good spot to be able to compete. Uh, we did. I think you know, their the staff, our staff, did a really good job of making sure Michigan came in, was tested twice, and just felt like everybody was safe. I think rotating them out. It was just awesome to wrestle. We, you know, competition's good. It it's, stinks to come in for four months and just train, and competition's good. And I'm just, you know, I sat there thinking for a while, just grateful. You know, I knew that the outcome wasn't what I wanted, but just grateful our guys had an opportunity to compete. We still got guys wrestling. So that's what this sport is about for me. So uh, I'm just grateful to our administration and our uh, doctors. We'll close with James Cratch. James, go ahead. Scott, is – did Grell tweak anything in that match? It seemed like he kind of jumped out on Massa early and it kind of faded late. No, I don't think period. so. I think I think he got out of there healthy. I, you know, uh, I, I haven't talked to him about it, but yeah, you're right. He jumped out early and then kind of was like surprised he was was winning. And he's certainly capable. We want him to compete there a little bit harder. I don't I don't think anything's wrong though. He's actually not going to wrestle a second match, uh, so maybe. But uh, he didn't say anything was hurt. I just think it was it's too soon of a turnaround. Thanks, Coach. Good. Thanks, guys. Yeah.